How to Knit a Cable Heart. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and today on Studio Knit, we are knitting up this cable heart knit stitch pattern. It has an interlocking design. It's a classic project for Valentine's Day and perfect all year round. The interlocking hearts are vertical and these panels can be knitted up for a lot of fun projects. I think that the hearts would look great as a scarf and multiple panels, they can be pieced together to create a blanket of any size. It's always fun to see the cable design emerge as you knit it up. And these hearts make an extra special project filled with love. And here is how the cable pattern looks on the right side of the work. And this is what it looks like on the wrong. And if you're in the mood for love, I have some more great heart patterns that you'll want to check out. I have puffy heart softies. I also have some lace heart patterns, as well as a pillow, another cute little heart project that you make with i cords, even some knitting inspired cupcake treats. For your materials, you can use absolutely any yarn and corresponding knitting needles of your choice. Here I'm using size 11 with number five bulky weight yarn. Of course, you'll need a cable needle. I'm just using a double pointed needle that I painted pink on the ends to help you differentiate them from my regular knitting needles as I demonstrate the cable stitch patterns. And of course, scissors and a tapestry needle. We have a garter stitch edge right here because the base is reverse stockinette. And if you are familiar with stockinette, you know that it tends to curl up. Um, here is the back so you can sort of see that classic stockinette stitch on the back. So the garter stitch on the side helps it lay a little bit flat. It still does tend to curl up a bit, so you may want to block this. The width of your scarf depends on the yarn and needles that you use. In my example here, it's about seven inches wide. You'll definitely need to get the pattern. It's over on my website, totally free on my website page. And if you would like the PDF printable version, all you need to do is sign up for my mailing list. There are six different cable stitches in this pattern, and I've created a color-coded system. It easily helps you discern the different cable stitches as you go along. It's also great to pin this project to Pinterest to save for later. And links for everything you need to know are in the description below. If you're excited to knit up some cable hearts yourself, please like up this video. It really helps me out. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. So let's knit it up. We begin, of course, with our beloved slip knot. And from there, we are going to use the long tail cast on method, just really simple. And we're going to be casting on for this pattern, a total of just 24 stitches. Now, once you have all 24 stitches, I am going to be creating a garter edge. So that's just knitting and I'm doing four rows of the knit stitch to get started so that I have a nice sturdy edge on the bottom. You can totally skip this step. You can do two rows, four rows, or even more, whatever you'd like. And this is what my four rows of knitting for my garter edge looks like and I am ready to get started on my cabling. So you'll need the pattern, as I mentioned. Here it begins with some knits and purls, and I'm going to be demonstrating the cable stitches so that as you go along, if you have any questions on exactly um, what to do, you can refer to this video at any time. So the first one we encounter is C4B. That means that we take our cable needle, we take two stitches, and we take it to the back. Our cable needle is in the back, and then it's K2 from our main needle. So holding that cable needle in the back, we are going to knit two stitches from our main knitting needle, pretending like that cable needle's not even there. And now we switch. And from the cable needle, we are going to knit two stitches. 
And if cabling is new to you, this might be a little bit of a challenge, but I know you're totally up for it. Just systematically go through the pattern stitch by stitch and you will see your pretty heart emerge. It's really cool. Now the next one is C4F. That means that we're holding the cable needle to the front. So we take those two stitches, we hold the cable needle to the front, we pretend like it's not even there as we knit two stitches from our main knitting needle. And then we take the cable needle and sometimes it's a little bit of a stretch <laughs> and you knit two stitches directly off your cable needle. And then you just continue on with the knits and purls in the pattern. Here is how it's shaping up. This is our even row. I just wanted to point out that the even rows are knitting the knits and purling the purls. If that's something that you're familiar with, then it's great. You can just go ahead and you don't have to refer to the pattern. You can easily knit those knit stitches and right there you see those little purl stitches and you just go along on all of the even rows knitting the knits and purling the purls. Okay, our third cable stitch that we encounter in the pattern is CR4B. Okay, so that means cable right for back. So taking two stitches and holding the cable needle to the back, and then because we are knitting, we need to bring that yarn to the back and off of our main knitting needle, we are going to knit two stitches right here from our main knitting needle. And once we've completed that, we take our cable needle and we're going to be purling two stitches from the cable needle. So we'll bring our yarn to the front and this is another one that requires a little bit of a stretch. It can be a little bit of a tight squeeze, but you are in control of the yarn. You will make it happen. And you just purl those two stitches right there off of your cable needle. Okay, we're halfway there. Our fourth cable needle, it's CL4F. So we're taking the cable and we're holding it to the front and we're going to be purling two stitches off of our main knitting needles to begin with. and then we bring our yarn to the back because we are taking our cable needle and we are going to knit two stitches from the cable needle. And let's take a minute to admire our work. Now already after just three rows of our cable stitch, our heart is starting to emerge. It's the bottom part of the heart and let's keep going. So our fifth cable stitch is CR3 back. So we are taking just one stitch on our cable needle and holding it to the back. And then we are knitting two stitches right here from our main needle. And then we're gonna finish it up with that one stitch from the cable needle. We take our yarn, of course we need to bring it to the front because this is a purl stitch. And we purl it once right here off of our cable needle. Again, that's another little tight squeeze to accomplish that stitch. And I wanna show you right here in the middle, you know, there's that pretty little cable that runs up the middle of the hearts. And this is a stitch that we've already done, but I just wanna point out that we are doing this twice to accomplish that. And the first time is here on row five. Okay, final cable stitch to review. So it is CR3F, that is holding two stitches on our cable needle in the front. And then it's just one purl stitch off of our main needle right here. And we're going to bring our yarn around to the back because we finish it up with the cable needle and it's two stitches off the cable needle. This one's a little bit of a stretch, it's not too tight. 
following along with the pattern. This is a pretty simple cable once you get the hang of it. And it just makes me so happy seeing all of these hearts emerge. Cable knitting always feels really satisfying because you get these great designs. You just keep on going to get that inner locking heart look. And I hope you are inspired to knit up your own cable knit hearts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Bye.